हेलो रमन वेलकम टू पार्ट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ ला रमन एंड सीरीज इन विच वर कटिंग दी मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट सो वो विल कॉन्टिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन दी ला रमल डिस्काउंट कोर्स दी कूपन फंक्शनैलिटी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन दी एडिट कूपन फंक्शनैलिटी सो इन दी लास्ट वीडियो वी एबल टू एड दी न्यू कूपन एंड दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई टू एडिट दी कूपन ओके सो फॉर एडिटिंग दी कूपन वी आर गोइंग टू क्लिक हेयर एंड देन दी कूपन डिटेल्स विल कम अप सो वी नीड टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेलेक्ट the details whatever the details have been added earlier by the admin or vendor we need to show all those details so that the admin or vendor can able to edit it as well so few of the things are not editable like the coupon uh, code is not edit editable okay and along with that uh, automatic and manual option uh, also we can't able to edit so few of the options we able to edit and few of the option we can't uh, edit okay so let's start Uh, so first thing is we are going to add here few of the condition in add edit coupon few of the more things here uh, like uh, we are going to uh, take uh, one empty arrays in case of add coupon that uh, we are going to assign in uh, edit coupon as well so here what we are going to do uh, in case of add we will take it like select cat select categories empty array for this one two more empty array one for users and one for brands and one for uh users okay and all three we are going to take it there as well and here in edit coupon but in edit coupon uh, we are going to explore the uh, explore the uh, now see the entries what we are having here Uh, here you can see we are entry uh, we are having uh, with the comma categories one comma six brands one comma two users uh, with emails with comma so that we need to explore to make it in array so that we can show them uh, in the uh, in the drop down in the select boxes at the add edit coupon form okay so for that we need to explore the categories here so that we can convert it to array okay uh, we are going to explore it. Uh, like dollar coupon categories so in the same way we will do with the brands as well as the users okay and here with the brands as well as the users okay so for both we are going to do it like this and also we are going to send all three in uh, here in the uh return okay we are going to return all three here select categories uh, select brands and select uh, users okay so in the add edit coupon uh, uh so here we are required to add the condition as well uh, because uh, here the in case of coupon code now if the coupon code is not empty then we are going to show this part otherwise we are directly showing the coupon okay so we need to add here uh from here to enter coupon code uh we need to see up till where uh here okay so here we are going to add the condition if uh empty okay if it means the coupon details is not coming coupon code is not coming okay coupon code if there is no coupon code okay then uh, see this one we are not going to show this one uh, coupon code also we are not going to show and here else and if and here we are going to show the coupon uh, code directly okay directly we are going to show the coupon code and also uh we are going to add here yeah in input type fields uh type hidden uh here we are going to take it like coupon option this time whatever the option is coming coupon option okay so that is already coming to us but that is not editable okay coupon option
same thing we are going to do with the coupon code as well and we are going to show this coupon code here as well like uh, div class form group here uh, we are going to mention the label uh, or coupon code okay so now we are going to see here uh, there is some issue here so we need to debug uh, why this issue is coming and here i think uh, we must check here that what is coming in dollar coupon TD is already having do or die so do and die so we need to check here uh, expecting un unexpected variable dollar coupon expecting uh, so it is saying some syntax error uh, okay comma is missing so that's why now it is correct okay so don't do this kind of silly mistakes okay now we can refresh okay now we will try see i am going to click on edit okay and you can see the coupon code is straight away uh, doing uh, straight away giving the option and one more thing we can uh, do here like uh, uh, we can mention here the coupon code like this okay uh, sorry not here uh, it is here coupon code like this okay so coupon code is this one and coupon type and amount type uh, that the person can able to edit okay so we are going to show here coupon type and amount type the values we are going to show here and also uh, we will make it like old values can be selectable okay uh, so in this case uh, we are going to check here okay in both the cases if the coupon type is coming we will add two condition here uh, if is set and equal to equal to uh, it is multiple times then we are going to check this one else and if uh, okay then uh, see we are going to uh, in case of uh, the another one that is uh, the coupon type if uh, single time okay if it is multiple time uh, yeah uh, i think uh, the else condition is not required here at all okay so this one is all the condition that is required and this one same condition i'm going to put it here in case of single time okay i'm going to check it with the single time as well and then i will select this one so let's see see in this case see it is selecting the multiple time and now yeah, i'm going to uh, edit another coupon and it is selecting the single time here. so it is working fine so like this we are also going to add the condition for other and here as well we are going to uh, 
remove this checked option uh, i am going to give here the amount type this time amount type amount type if percentage then this one okay and uh, here also i'm going to copy this one this condition and we'll put it uh, here as well and here if the amount type is fixed then this one okay so let's see see this one now the fix is selected okay <coughs> so um, in amount also i am going to add uh, such kind of condition i am going to copy this one okay and here as well i am going to uh, add here uh, if the amount uh, and here as well i am going to select this one amount uh so uh here the condition is if the amount is coming okay if the amount is coming then uh we are going to show its value otherwise uh, we can't uh, add any value okay so this is the condition that we are going to add if coupon amount uh, is, is set then only one condition is going to add uh, like this uh if we set fine uh, then in this case uh, I am going to add its value its value and also we are going to add else condition here in this case as well okay uh, else old value we will also give here okay first of all we are going to assign its value this one dollar coupon amount that is actually coming uh, we are going to enter it like this otherwise uh, we are going to show the old value okay old value that is coming or uh, this amount we are going to add it here okay so now we're going to see see amount is coming fine okay so now the category is option okay so here we have already uh, is having the selected option for the category we are taking in commas you can see set select categories okay in array okay so that thing we are going to uh, compare in both uh, uh, for each loops here uh, in array with the in array we are going to compare it one okay so first of all we are going to pick it uh, here in array in array and here we are going to uh, pick this one this uh, id category id we are going to compare with that array that uh, uh, we have taken there that is dollar select cats okay uh, that we have generated with all the ids that are previously uh, that are selected previously okay so if uh, this is the case then we are going to select this one and um, yeah and if okay so the same condition we are going to add the in case of uh, uh, this uh, sub category as well okay so here as well we are going to add the same condition now we are going to see refresh this one and you can see the categories are selecting this set the categories that are selected the last time now again we able to select okay so in the similar way i'm going to put the condition in the brands as well okay so here as well i'm going to add the similar condition in brand but this time the brand will uh, we are going to compare this brand id with this select brands okay so whatever brands we have selected see it must select it now okay you can see we are able to select this brand okay so the same condition we are going to add for the users as well okay so we are going to add the condition this one in users and this time we are going to take the email user email we are going to check with the user email this time and with the selected email select uh, user uh, array that we are uh, assigning there in the add edit coupon function and now we are going to see the only one email we have selected that time and also for the expiry date we are going to add the condition for the expiry date similar to the amount condition that we have added earlier and this one uh, we are going to add for the expiry date so let's add this condition for the expiry date as well uh, i'm going to copy this one uh, expiry date and here instead of amount i'm going to put this one and we'll see that if this condition is working fine you can see we able to have the complete coupon in the edit coupon form and now we can able to edit it okay like if we want 
it uh, like percentage cooper this time instead of multiple time we want and i want the uh, 20 percent instead of this one or some other chain if you want okay so i'm going to select some other category this time and some other brand this time and some other emails this time i have added more emails and the exchange the expiry date and then click on submit and let's see we able to edit all the information of the coupon you can see we able to convert it to whatever we want once again we will change it to the fixed coupon single time coupon 200 rupees coupon more categories we have selected almost many categories we have selected only three four brands we have selected now upper uh, email also we have selected once again i have selected the 31st and now you can see we able to edit changes we able to make changes in the uh, coupon details now okay so now we able to add the coupon as per our own choice all the advanced options of the coupons are there now is the time to apply it on the front end okay so we want to apply it at the front end in the next video we will start applying it to the front end okay now we have the coupons ready now we are going to add the coupon at the front end apply the coupon at the front end all the conditions like if the coupon is added by the vendor then all the vendor products are eligible to uh to afford that coupon uh, but if the coupon is added by the admin then uh, then it is eligible to all the vendors as well okay so that we are going to start working on the next video so please stay tuned for that and always subscribe the channel okay you know how to subscribe the channel please go to the stack developers uh, and please uh, subscribe the channel and you can always join the channel to get the complete source code so that's all for now have a nice time Goodbye.